Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Babsy, and today we are talking about three different things that will make or break your PvP experience. The first thing that you need to do is to check your battle settings. If you have toggled the settings to auto, turn them off right now. Right now. This will not help you in PvP. Because this will most likely only make your PvP experience even harder. For example, if you are unlucky, you will start to auto-target drones when the fight starts and the drones start to shoot you. And since you can't lock up that many targets, you would have to start unlocking them one by one by hand. And if your guns, tackle or some other electronic warfare went on the drones because you had auto-attack, you would have wasted damage tackle, and probably some cycles of something, maybe a, a newt, and that could set you up for a very bad time. Let's just quickly talk about Auto Orbit. It's nice, isn't it? Especially for PvE, but for PvP, no, 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 you're not supposed to use that. You will have a bigger chance of actually surviving if you handle your ship with your fingers. You adjust after what you're facing, because you never know what you're up against when you're PvPing. Unless it's decided beforehand, of course, because then you could just auto everything. The thing about auto orbit is that it could actually be abused. I'm not sure if abuse is the right word, but I'm using it, alright? I call it. There is a way for people to slingshot you, and slingshot is a Pretty complicated maneuver, but people do it. People have done it in EVE Online for many years, and it is pretty nice if you actually do it. It's a really nice trick up your sleeve if you learn it. We're not actually talking about slingshotting that much today, but I just wanted to mention it. You should definitely read about it and learn it, because that will probably save your life a few times. Especially when you're fighting fast ships. It saved me a bunch of times. Maybe I'll do a video about this in the future. Who knows? Next thing that we are talking about is something that people, and myself included, sometimes miss. We should always double or even triple check the mods that we are currently using in the fit of our ship. Because a lot of the mods look the same. And it won't be as surprising as you actually think that you, or even me, fitted something wrong. A good example here is the damage mods, or the weapon upgrades if you mind. They all look the same, except obviously the ballistic controls and the drone damage mods. But the others, they all look the same. So this could be an easy mistake, that you actually fit a heatsink instead of a gyro. And this could actually turn the tide of the battle as well, because you click it, nothing happens. And you don't even get the passive bonus from it if you're not using the correct guns. There is also several drone weapon upgrades, and they all look the same. So, just take a quick look in your fitting window before you actually head out looking for your next target, okay? Oh, by the way, just a little side note. To make your fights a bit easier, you should always try and have the same layout on your shortcuts, or at least close to what you usually have. This way you would always know where the tackle is, or your micro warp drive, or whatever. You get the point, yeah? The third and last thing that we're talking about today, and you probably heard this before, it's an old EVE Online saying, don't fly what you can't afford to lose. This is the golden rule of EVE Online pretty much the same here in EVE Echoes. It will be so much more satisfying to actually fly, let's say, 10 different ships compared to just flying one and losing it. Because you will lose your ship. Everyone loses their ships sometime. And if you are new to the game or new to PvP, you should keep it cheap and simple while you, you are learning the ropes of the game. There's a lot of tricks to be learned in this game, so get out there, blow some ships up, get blown up, learn and enjoy the game, because the PvP in this game is actually pretty fun. As long as you can afford to lose some ships. If you can't afford to lose the ships you're flying, PvP is not gonna be fun. 
because you will always have this nagging feeling that you are losing way too much ISK and it requires you to either go out and farm for a very long time or use your credit card. And that's not really the feeling you want in PvP. You just want to go out, shoot stuff, kill stuff or get blown up. You know, sometimes it's fun to get blown up as well because it's part of the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel absolutely free to leave a like and leave a comment giving me some of your best tips for any player that's playing EVE Echoes. As usual, I would like to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. We are almost at 80 subscribers now. I have no idea what just happened. It's just exploded somehow. I am so grateful, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. It means a lot to me. By the way, if you are new here and you enjoy my content, you could also consider subscribing because you will get the notification when I release a new video. You guys have an awesome day, morning or evening and I'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.